Well, you hear the music, and if that don't stir you, nothing will. Um, or maybe the, today's guest will. I'm so excited. Today is the start of football. There's lots of excitement in the air, but I have my friend, serial entrepreneur, a guy I've been in the trenches with on a couple of deals, but he is the, uh, the founder. He's behind a company called Grape Stars. I can't wait for him to share all of the good that's happening with him and his company. Welcome to the Tell Me Something Good, my friend, JJ Pelletier. <laughs> my God, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for receiving me this morning. How about that, man? You're, uh, you're incredible, man. So yeah. um, I know you as one of the most charming, um, delightful people in, in the universe. You have always had a smile, uh, good or bad. Um, I love the way you're a great dad. Um, there's so many good things about you that we've connected on. Uh, the show, the premise is tell me something good. And you have so much good going on, which I'm happy to be part of, but I want you to share it. Yeah, well, first of all, let's talk about family, okay? Recently, I've been following your podcast with your son, and it's so precious to build something with your your baby. My God, it's it's the most important thing in life is, is family. And as you know, you talk about my son. I've been uh, educating my boy by myself, you know, and now he's 10, and it's a beautiful journey. But um, anyway, I, I feel super pumped up, like we say, okay, to be on your show. <laughs> There's so many nice things that uh, we want to talk about. Uh, today, it's a great day because I know you're crazy about football, you and your son, but <laughs> it's and it's the beginning of the National Football League season. And today, as the founder of Grape Stars, which is the first celebrity wine and spirit app, we're launching a promotion with one of the best in the industry, <laughs> in the world as a football player, Terry Braja. My God, amazing. So I feel super proud um let's go uh shay you want to uh you want to sh run, run the um run the video hey everyone this is terry bradshaw from a ranch in thackerville oklahoma and uh we've got an awesome bourbon out called bradshaw bourbon we've had a lot of wonderful people uh that have tested it and we're getting great reviews and we're moving across the country listen grape stars app is the way to go so if you want to find my bourbon just go Grape Stars app, find out where it is, and I'll go ahead and order a Bradshaw bourbon. Don't forget, football season's coming up, and what better way to watch your favorite football team than to sit down with Bradshaw bourbon? Have that Grape Stars app sitting there, boom, punch it in. There it is. All good, folks. So, first of all, when he went boom, that's my favorite saying. I should be wearing my boom shirt. Um, so why don't you tell us, first of all, how exciting. Um, tell us the origin of how you came up with this idea. Obviously, I was there at the beginning. Um, but give us the history of what's going on and how it came to this and what's going on, all the good stuff. Yeah, well, listen, you know, I've been educating, uh, educated by, by a great dad. Uh, and super mom. And at the house, it was Shark Tank. Every Sunday, my mom was preparing a roast beef. And my dad, as an investment banker, he was receiving entrepreneur. And we were sitting, the three boys at the table, and we were listening. And it was deals after deal. But he was financing the deal. And I was always frustrated. And I was telling him, Dad, why we don't launch our own company? We don't need these guys. So after many years at the university, you know, I had this inside of me to be a, an entrepreneur. And um, what happened is that I moved 15 years ago in Miami. Uh, I became partner with Sammy Sosa in, a, uh, in, in the healthcare business. Uh, I was partner with, uh, um, um, what's her name? The beautiful singer, Paula Abdul, uh, did a deal with Sprint. And one day I woke up and I said, uh -uh. I think that the future will go to uh, celebrity endorsement because of social media. I should concentrate myself in this field. And... I was on my bicycle in Key Biscayne in front of the beach and I see a beautiful man on his bike and it's Andy Garcia. And Andy Garcia is a Cuban actor that I was all my life a fan, you know, a godfather, etc. cetera. So um, I stop him and he said, give me 30 minutes. I'm with my son and I'll talk to you. So I spend the time waiting and he, and when he gave me the moment, I said, look, sir, um, I have a vision. Uh, I was in LA. They offered me a glass of rosé and it was Brad Pitt. And I think after, you know, I, th I think the future will be in the alcohol. He said, 
wait a second, allow me to introduce you, my brother. So I met Rene at his house, um, beautiful old man, 70, not old, but 70 year old, super brilliant, sharp. And I uh, explained me his life for one hour. And after that, he said, I create celebrity perfume, the perfume of Jay-Z, Rihanna, Pitbull, etc. And I sold my company for a lot of millions. And a I lot think, of millions. <laughs> yes. And I think you're on the right path. He said, I'm not going to invest because, uh, you know, I don't want to in be involved in companies anymore. I want to enjoy life. But I'm backing you. I'm behind you. And if you need help with Hollywood, et cetera. So I went to see my brother because everything that I do, I do with my brother, Robert, who's more uh, the look and feel. You know, he's, a, he's I think he's an brilliant. artist. Okay, He's, he's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And and me, I'm the go getter and the guy who opened door, raised the cash, uh, have the vision. But if you don't have a team, you're going nowhere in life. So um, and I brought along the way uh, some other partner. And uh, so three months ago, we launched the first celebrity wine and spirit app with more than 200 celebrities, Dwayne Wade with his wine. Conor McGregor with his whiskey, um, Michael Jordan with his new tequila. And today, uh, and what we do exactly is that the three tiers law in the United States is very strict. So if you're a producer like John Wayne, you create your wine in Napa Valley, you're super proud. You cannot sell direct to consumer. It's against the law. Versus Kylie Jenner, she says swipe up. You look at the lipstick and in two shot, boom, you buy it. The alcohol, you cannot do that. So when you when you create, you need to sign your, your a deal with a distributor like Southern Wine and Spirit. They do more than 30 billion a year, and but they can only sell in restaurant, bars, and hotel. And after that, it goes to the retailer. And the retailers, they don't have places, okay, on their shelf. And so a guy like John Bon Jovi, who created his own rose. He sent his son in Ohio, in Alabama, everywhere, and knock, knock on retailers, and it's not an easy job. So we create this mobile app, and instead of having, you know, 50 cents saying, hey, this is my new champagne, ask a retailer about it. No, this is 50 cents. Love, this is love. my new champagne. Get it on GrapeStars. And we provide a deep link, and now potential with 200, 200 stars, we have a potential of 1.2 billion fans that can come directly to our app. And it's a call to action. They look at their stars and they say, okay, I'm going to buy, I'm going to try his, his product. So we just launched. It's exciting. We have in our pipeline, uh, you know, uh, Cipriani family, the Bocelli family, Andrea Bocelli is partner with his brother. They have an amazing vineyard. Uh, soon Mary J. Blige, who just launched Sun Goddess or Rose. Uh, we're talking to many stars and today we're launching uh, with Terry Bradshaw. Why, my God, Terry Bradshaw. He's well, one show of me, my... show me, show me the bottle. Show me that yes. you got the bottle. <laughs> so he wanted to have an amazing bourbon. Okay, so that's his bottle, and on the bottle here, he's got his four Super Bowl, and here that was brilliant. The 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 alcohol is fifty one point nine, which is his average pass during his career. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. That's yes, great. That's yes. Great. So, so, and and as you see, I I taste it a little bit. I did a podcast <laughs> with him that I'm going to launch tomorrow, and at the end of the podcast, I was starting to be drunk because this is powerful. <laughs> but an amazing product. They just they just received an award, ninety one point. You know, so these stars, people think you know, oh, they just put their name. No. They travel, they go to the distillery, they do a tasting, and they choose what they want because at the end of the day, they're proud of their career, they're legend, they're all of, all of fame, all of famer. Look, this is true vodka. This is Mike Piazza. Last week we launched a promotion. Well, it's from Italy, it's organic, you know, so all these products are amazing. They make deals with the best winemaker in the world or distill distillery, but uh it's exciting. I feel like a kid, a 50 year old, to have the chance to surround myself with my partner, build, you know, with investors, but have these celebrities that I connect. And for me, you know, we're all equal, all equal. The Pope, you, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, everybody. And that's why all my life, I never had a barrier. I was never afraid. For me, I destroy doors when I feel that it's a great company, a great product that we're uh, promoting or selling. But 
I connect with these celebrities and it's nice. You're going to see on the podcast, the conversation, it's about family. It's not only about money or your career. It's about all the ups and down you had in your life. And you know, you had ups and down. I, I oh, did. Yeah, it's life. Right. yeah. So, you know, what's really cool is certainly the timing for Terry. He has a TV show. It's the start of football again. Um, so, you know, he's very top of mind. They've been running his commercial, his promo. So it's really top of mind. And I'm excited. We just spoke about a couple of weeks ago on the huddle. We spoke about how bourbon is really popular with young people, you know, that it's, you know, used to be an older, more sophisticated drink. Now it's younger people have adopted it. So I'm, I'm thrilled that we're, you know, you're, you're dabbling in the, uh, bourbon category. I want to bring my audience to a place when, you know, I remember when this was an idea. I remember you coming to my office and sharing the idea. I know we did work originally and you were a, I will never say no guy. And this was not a straight line to success, uh, to the contrary. So I want, I want people to understand what it's like to be an entrepreneur, to go through those ups and downs. And when people around you don't necessarily believe in your vision or it doesn't go your way, because I admire that more than anything and, and love the spirit that you bring to it. Yeah. When I was younger, I went to the business school, the Hautes Etudes Commerciales in Montreal. I speak French. I was raised in Montreal. Um, but my father, you know, at seven year old, um, he was working because his dad was a teacher of philosophy, Latin and Greek, but he was making 2000 a year as salary didn't add money. So, you know, um, when you're young and you start to work in the grocery stores and bring boxes, and after that, you know, with the milkman, et cetera, my dad always believed that um, he had all the capacity to succeed. Um, but when he met my mom, uh, Monique, she was a radio anchor and she was beautiful and she was coming from money. So she understand the business, you know, uh, my grandfather owned a hotel, he had an insurance company, et cetera. So she helped him to become a stockbroker and uh, to, to be a Wall Streeter. So when you're a Wall Streeter, you follow the market. So we start our life, you know, with the three brothers at the house. And it, we were not rich. We, the house, my, my dad paid $18,000. And one day we were in a $4 million house. We didn't understand that when we were young. But we follow the market with his life, okay? And dad is upstairs right now with my mom. Wherever you are, dad, thank you. Because he teaches God bless. that right. it's not only about money. It's about believing in yourself, being honest. And when someone tell you no, but you think it's right, just go. Just follow your path and go. But when you raise money as an entrepreneur, you need to bring your passion to the other, okay? Because there's a lot of people who have money. I live in Miami. You know it. You're in Palm Beach. There's a lot of cash. But there's a lot of people who are not happy. And they would love to participate in a company like Grape Stars, where it's fun, where you have a potential of making money, etc. To go back on your question is that I love life, you know. And I think it's a privilege. I know. This I know. <laughs> it, yeah, it's a privilege to be on this planet. And while I'm here... I want to kick some ass. I want to make. I want to make money. I want to have fun. I want. I want to surround myself with winner. The second people I don't like their energy, push them back. It's not for me. I. You know, <laughs> it's super important to have a good team. But a team, one man or one woman show doesn't work these days. So I. I just and I think we're sitting on a nice company, a winner. There's many new things that's going to come. We're creating Grape Stars Entertainment. We're, uh, we're working super hard to bring these celebrity and do a show on Netflix because content is what hot right now. Um, so anyway, I answer yeah, when you have, When you have a personality like Terry Bradshaw or a Mike Piazza who are really comfortable in the spotlight and you give them a stage along with you, only good things happen. So I, so I, yep. I totally agree. So, um, state of development where the company is now. So you launched Terry Bradshaw. What's your expectation? What, what is going to happen now? So we announce it here. We announce it, you know, uh, you know, through your channels. People go right to the app and then buy it and gets delivered to their door. Yeah. Let's go back to a point that is important. Okay. Uh, I'm very excited to talk about Grape Stars. But this is a moment in our life, you know, it's a pandemic. And uh, 
in time of crisis, there's opportunities. So I see Grape Stars as an opportunity because we first deliver at home. A lot of people stay at home right now. It is what it is. We sell alcohol, okay? So with moderation, but everybody drink. It's a recession-free product. And the celebrities are all home, texting, uh, going on their podcasts, etc. So the market is great for us right now, okay? Um, yeah, it's easy. You know, you go on the app and you find the celebrity that you want. And we have a 90 point and plus also uh, um, component inside of our app. So if you want to have amazing product, we have this. We have the celebrities. And soon we're going to launch a new division that will be, you know, we're going to have LVMH uh, product, Louis Vuitton, Moet Tennessee, Chanel, um, some other product, Gucci are launching. They're all going into the wine industry, which is crazy, you know. So uh, we want to be different than the competition. Um, as you see, there's a lot of video. Uh, we want to educate the people. We want to be, um, uh, to have a, how do you say that? We, we, have a, a, we have news that we, every week we have different news of celebrities. Sarah Jessica Parker launched her new wine. Uh, uh, Christy Brinkley, I was on the phone with her team. She has a Prosecco organic, et cetera. So we want to educate. Um, and I just think that we have a chance to to win big time with Grape Stars. I absolutely, totally agree. Maybe you can speak a little bit about our relationship because I didn't share that with anybody. So, you yes. know, we met long ago. We've worked on lots of dogs, but we got to one that's, you know. Yeah. Look, what did I say earlier? Yeah, I want to <laughs> surround myself with winners, okay? <laughs> Your personality is is beautiful. Uh, your smile is contagious. You're a great man. Uh, without talking about your age, I see your training <laughs> all the time. Your partner with your son. Um, it's beautiful. And, and it's important. Uh, there's no age to learn. Learning is power, okay? And what you provide to clients, uh, guys like me okay president of companies uh, director of sales etc you need motivation you need technique how to sell you need to sometimes you know i always say in business when you do the everest you don't go in one shot you have to go in the first <laughs> palier you come down you go in the second you come down and all these efforts that you do there's a learning skill and what you provide right now with your new company and it's amazing and we work together okay um you're you're like a, a of a very important strategic advisor in 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 the company and in my life uh and I, and i'm honored you know when we had different meetings and i think that you know with our network we can create even something bigger but i have a lot of respect for you for you and your team that's awesome man you know the um what one of the common denominators, and you talked about this before, and I want to make sure that the audience get this, is that you can choose the people around you. You know, if you get a bad vibe from somebody, usually that happens early on, and your internal system has a red flag that goes, ooh, that didn't feel good. I felt good about you and your brother right from the start. Speaking of your brother, he is one of the most creative, brilliant minds. Yeah. He was doing cool websites long before websites were cool um that the stuff the way he thinks he executes the the website and the app for grape stars are beautiful they are yes. aesthetically pleasing so i welcome my audience to go there and check it out because it's a really good experience the more people i've shared with it they instantly say to me oh wow this looks good this is you know yeah. gives you a feeling so it's really a transfer of emotion which your smile does that you say my smile does that well, websites and apps smile too. They have an emotion associated with them. And that's the that's, most significant piece of marketing yes. that I think people miss. That's beautiful what you're saying. You know, um, my brother, Robert, uh, we're three years uh, apart. He's younger. He's the last one. I, we have another brother, Michel, who's in the water industry in Canada. I remember. I remember. He, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was vice president of Fidelity Investment. He went to Harvard. Uh, He's a very serious economist guy and he think macroeconomy, he think that water will become a commodity. So he's acquiring water asset. But to come back on Robert, Robert is 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 a gentleman. He's the gentleman of the gentleman. I never saw a man with so much class. Okay. And um he always say, say, 
do you think Apple succeed only with the vision, okay, of um, uh, the, 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 what's his name? God, um, Steve, Steve Jobs. Jobs. No, yeah. he said the team behind who create the iPhone, okay, the look and feel. These guys are so important. It's a teamwork. So Robert is partner with Stefan Lindquist, who's our art director, and both of them are creating phenomenal content. When yeah. we close a deal with a celebrity, I always tell them our art director and Robert will take care of all the content because it's important. We live in a content generation right now. So uh, I'm happy that you bring up uh, my brother. Uh, I love him so much and it's great. You wake up every morning and you build your, your baby with, uh, with, your, with your blood. And also we have Stéphane Fortier, um, who's more a guy of operation all French Canadian who decide one day at minus 30 <laughs> said, forget Canada, let's go in the South. And, um, and it's great. I'm in Brickell right now. We, we're building Grape Stars from uh, the Brickell City Center, our office, for sure it's close. So we're all at home, but Brickell is like the Wall Street of, of uh, Miami. Uh, it's that. very la Latino, but there's it's a beautiful city to live. And um, recently, I was engaged to a beautiful Cuban girl that I adore. Her name is Diana, and uh, she's got two lovely boys, four and five, plus my son, 10. And we went to the Breaker Hotel in Palm Beach, and I had a moment, you know, my knee, my knee went down. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so so it, it's, it's, it's a beautiful moment in my life. And, very, and very so I, I am so happy for all of the things that are happening to you. I don't know anybody else who deserves it more. You are a champion of spirit. I only ask you to make me one promise is that you come up and have dinner with Michelle and I like yes. very soon. And whatever you need from me, myself, from Mark for Grape Stars, I know that there's another round of work that we need to get done. You have yeah. our attention. You always did and you always will. And I'm so appreciative on today when you're launching Terry Bradshaw that you took the time to share it with us. Yes, and uh, yes. I, I'm going to go on the app right now and buy that bottle. I uh, uh, That will be absolutely. my son's birthday. Today is my son's birthday. That will be my son's birthday present. That's so nice. That's so nice of you. Um, please say hi to Madame Esposito. I know you're sharing your life with a phenomenal woman um, yeah, she's that, incredible. I, that I respect very highly. And... Um, you know, I was thinking about you since a couple of weeks because confidentially we knew that we had uh, this partnership with Terry Bradshaw. And I know you're crazy about football. Your <laughs> son was the coach of which team again? The Canes, Well, he's or? been with Florida, Florida State. He was never a Cane, but uh, he had two of the three big Florida schools. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So let's do a touchdown today. Um, okay. I invite everybody to download uh, the app, Grape Stars. Go on the uh, App Store. and. Um, Thank you for the opportunity today. I love being on your show. I'm very proud of you and your career. And you know what? Um, I always joke okay, with the song. I went to see this concert of Barry Manilow two years ago at the Miami <laughs> Arena. And I remember when I was a kid, my dad was always saying when he was closing a deal, Let, <laughs> looks like we made it. <laughs> So, <laughs> Dude, so. you, let me tell you something. You are just a delight. I can't wait uh, to see you and uh, spend some quality time with you face to face. So uh, um, we'll do that soon. Congratulations. Um, let's get ready for some football. And let's drink some bourbon. Perfect. It's it's football tonight. So let's yes, go. Yes, sir. Okay? Boom. See you. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Steve.